Hi Kirby fans, so today is day four, so we're on the home stretch, we're on the downhill stretch, uh, so not long to go, so we're going to be checking out how I'm coping on day four with the Dyson. So what we'll do is we'll get straight to it. Hi Kevin fans, welcome back to the channel. Again, those are new to the channel, if you haven't already and you're getting value added to content, then contemplate slapping that subscribe button, ding in that bell for notifications, give us a big thumbs up, and comment down below. I will reply to the comment. If you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So in yesterday's episode, it was the halfway mark. We're halfway there. It's day three yesterday. Um, still stressed out with that hose, as you could see in the videos. <laughs> this Dyson has got to do a lot to actually win me over. So today we're going to be vacuuming the laundry, doing a bit more carpet agitation. Again, just trying to get everything out that may be there. And then we'll see at the end of the week, or towards the weekend, how bad or how good that door snatchy is and whether it's actually left anything in the carpet for the Kirby to pick up. Now as I'm recording this we're literally 42 subscribers away from that 900 mark so if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to make sure you get a chance to enter that competition once that question goes up at 900 subscribers. Also you need to have your subscriptions open so make sure they're open so I can check that you are subscribed. It's only fair that subs subscribers and supporters of this channel are entitled to enter this competition. Now, I'll specify again, if you've already in the draw, and I'm gonna be putting the draw, the names of the people up in the draw, I will be listing them on the Kirby Enthusiast Facebook page. So if you remember that, you'll see whether your name is on there and if you are actually in the draw. Um, so do not comment if you are already in the draw. So I will be putting that up this week before the weekend, ready for when that next question goes up, because I'm pretty sure we're gonna hit the 900 mark. So what we'll do, if you're enjoying these videos, I'm going to, uh, again, comment down below if you're enjoying them. And if you want more content like this, then let me know in the comments below. And like I said, make sure you check out the Kirby Enthusiast Facebook page um, and see, actually, if you're in the draw. Um, I think there's about 25, 30 people in the draw at the moment. Obviously, I think when we get to 1,000, there'll be 35 to 40 subscribers in the draw. And what I do is I give a shout out to all the new subscribers at the end of the video, so make sure you stick around for that. And don't forget, we've got the bloopers at the end, which a lot of people tend to enjoy. Right, so day four, here we go. We're going to be doing the laundry. Um, I'm going to say how good this is. I've used it in the ensuite this morning, and I'm going to use it again in the bathroom. We've only got a few hairs. Obviously, the dog has her food in here, and she does make a lot of mess. Now, again, I did scrub this with the Kirby Tile and Grape scrub out so I'll put a link in the old card above if you want to watch that video at the end. Um, so what we're going to do with this is obviously use this floor tool. Now we don't want this brush up because I reckon this is just going to push the hairs around like it was yesterday. So what we'll do is we'll lower that down and just have a straight suction and we'll see how we go. So again my favourite part of this machine, the hose. So let's battle on and see how we go. And then put that back in there. Now, I think with this, it still moves, still moves. Working it. Alright, so I'm going to battle on. So, headphone users turn them down. It's going to be a bit echoey because I'm in the laundry. So, you've got to hold it with your foot, and away you go.
across, I found if you want to vac the toils, it's a lot easier with a brush up, but again, either way, it pushes the hairs around, so it's not the best for dog hairs. Um, like I said, with the attachment on the Kirby, you've got the brush in the middle, so the dog hair can actually go underneath, and they do, yes, they do get stuck occasionally as they build up, but you can vac them off, but they're not even getting to the centre bit on this, they're just sitting around the front, so you just have to lift it up and drop it on. Now, the suction on this is quite powerful, I mean, you have to, to get it off the floor, which isn't good if you want to actually clean properly. And there's no way of reducing the suction anywhere on this machine. And I'm assuming all the other Dysons are exactly the same. And again, I'm still battling this goddamn hose. It's just so annoying. So what we'll do is we'll do the bathroom next um, with this tool. Then we'll probably go and do some carpet agitation. So we've got to do the hallway again because obviously the dog's been here and there's loads of hairs on the carpet in the hallway. Just put hairs all over the mat again and the other blue mat and we'll probably vacuum one of the rooms as well. I'm only going to do a couple on, on video because I don't want this video to be like a, a two and a half hour long because it does take me a long time to vacuum this house with this machine. So what we'll do is we'll jump into the bathroom. Right, so headphone users turn them down and we'll battle away. So we've got a few bit of fluff. We have got a cover mat, which I put purely because the dog drips water everywhere. So that's why their poles a bit flat. But it's, you know, there's an odd few hairs. But there's not a lot on here, as you can see. You know, a few hairs there. But what we'll do is we'll see how she copes and whether it's actually gonna clean it or rub it in the carpet. Right, so we're just going to turn the brush roll on. <coughs> That's already on. Right, and headphone users turn them down. And again, we've got to make sure that that is pushed down to the floor. So it's a bit hard with the camera. So we have to hold that and push that down there. That's touching the floor. And away we go. So headphone users turn them down.
so as you can see from that, we got some good agitation. It's actually lifting the pull, um, and I did have to, I did go over it really slowly to actually give it a chance. So I'm giving it a bigger chance than I actually give the Kirby because the Kirby I just whiz over everything. But we're giving it a bigger chance by going nice and slow, taking our time, and going over the pathways where the dog walks in and out just to get anything that's in there actually out. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use the duster brush and we're just gonna vacuum the PlayStation, where the PlayStations are and TV units and stuff like that. So what we'll do is we'll get straight So what we're gonna do is just vacuum off this area with Dyson's equivalent of the duster brush. Now this hasn't been done in about two weeks. I don't do it every day because to clean it all off is just a pain. Um, I'm gonna try and sort out some other sort of stacking system and whether it works better. But as you can see, we've got plenty of dust here for the Dyson to suck up. Now this is mainly clay dust and it just blows in through our windows. It's an, just a pain. So what we'll do is we'll zoom in and see how well this tool actually works. Right, so we'll just see if it's a battle of the hose again. Which I think it will be, I think it's gonna hurt my arm again. But we're gonna battle on. So press that. Slide that out. Should have come out a lot easier. I'm gonna to have to use this and then slot that in there, like so. Yeah, so. Right, so what I might try is I'll vacuum this wee board off first and I might put that just in front to stop that rolling around. So headphones, you just turn them down. So we're going to back the suite. Now, I've got an actual tip for you. So if you're buying one of these machines and it's going to be one of these with the hose in the back, then you can either order some bricks and put some bricks behind it. You could buy a second hand Wii U board and put that behind there. Or option three is a ratchet strap it to the table. Job done. <laughs> so, I'm gonna stick with a Wii board now, I've figured out how to do it. It still hurts your arm as you're pulling on that hose, um, but you can sort of stretch it with one arm and then hold it, and you've just got the tension on the one arm as opposed to the two, because before I was battling, as you've seen, with me having my foot trying to hold the thing. So again, either invest in a Wii U board, a ratchet strap, or a pack of bricks. So what we'll do now is we'll jump onto the suite and we'll start vacuuming that, make sure it's nice and clean, ready for Saturday morning when we go over it. So make sure it's nice and clean 
ready for Friday morning. After I vacuumed it with this, I will be putting another, doing another video, and so I'll be doing double housework that day. Recording with the Kirby, and I'm gonna use one that I can use a dirt meter with, so I can't use a Legend 2. Um, I'm gonna make it fair, I'm not gonna use my G4, just to literally show you what it's leaving behind. So what I do on Friday is I use the Sentry to vac up and see what it's left behind. If it has left anything behind, we never know, it might be that good. And what we'll do is we'll use the dirt meter, and as you know, with the Kirby, it sucks around 30% less with a dirt meter fitted to it. So you get a lot less suction. You get a lot less suction with a dirt meter fitted to the Kirby, as we all know. Um, and they're more efficient with the bag in there. So it's either we, we do it with a bag and weigh it, or you can actually I'll pull a pad off each one and see what's actually been left. If there's been any dog hairs been rubbed into the carpet, or the actual dirt's been rubbed into the carpet. Now again, my son came home yesterday and he did say, Daddy, have you used the Dyson again? And I said, yes. And he said, but it's still filthy. <laughs> so I'd say it is leaving stuff behind. It hasn't got that agitation, the vibration that the Kirby's got, which is is patented anyway so you're not going to get that from a Dyson in my opinion yes it's got really good suction but when that hose sucks to the floor you can't move the bloody thing so if it's going to suck to the floor it's not going to be able to suck the dirt so what we'll do is we'll jump in and start vacuuming the suite so don't forget we board bricks or a ratchet strap so some that pull that out pull that there Okay, so headphone users turn them down. Right, so I'm still knackered from fighting the hose. It's still like using one of them stretchy things for exercise. Um, but we did find out that tip. Now, I understand that these are gonna be like gold dust now, and they're gonna be going for an absolute fortune. All the Dyson people are gonna be buying them to stop their Dysons rolling around. But jump on the bag wagon first if you can. Get a bulk load of them and start selling them as a Dyson accessory, because it will stop your Dyson flying around the floor. It did make mine did tip over and smack me on the elbow, so 
it isn't 100%, percent i'd say it's 98 percent so you probably have to give a health and safety certificate with it just stating that your dyson may tip over while using your wee board that they that we advise that you actually ratchet strap it to a table <laughs> so what we're going to do now is i'm going to vacuum the mat again um, i will show you the agitation and see if you can actually pick up what it didn't pick up yesterday and uh, we'll see how we go so what we'll do is we'll get straight to it that way so off brush rolls on okay so headphone users turn them down just zoom back a bit and we'll see if you can actually pick up all these bits of fluff that it missed yesterday and a few biscuit crumbs over there apparently so my son tells me so away we go so headphone users turn them down So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoy my pain. Obviously now I've found a way sort of around that hose. It's still killing me arms. I feel like I've been to the gym for a couple of hours. But, and as I said, Wii U boards are gonna get very expensive now if this gets out to all the Dyson owners. So just be aware of that. Okay, so we're literally 40 subscribers away from that 900 mark before that question gets released. So I can see it getting released over the weekend. Um, as long as we hit that mark. So again, those who are new to the channel, if you're getting value out of this content, including the Wii boards, <laughs> then contemplate slapping that subscribe button to show your support for the channel, ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment, and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So what I'm gonna do is give a shout out to all my new subscribers over the past week or whatever. I I've got plenty of notifications. I haven't, I've got around about 50 odd, but I haven't got that many notifications for all of them. So a lot of you that have subscribed, just make sure your subscriptions are open. Um, so if you do comment on that questionnaire video that I can't, I do know you are subscribed and you'll be allowed to enter the competition. What we'll do is we'll give a shout out to all the new subscribers. And then what we'll do is we'll cut to the bloopers after that. Right, so the new subscribers are and I did shape these out on the 900 question that will be going up. So you, you might be repeated unless I go back and edit that. Um, but it is, it is set as private for the moment. Um, so I've got a Roderick Gray. I've got a Perth 37T Life. Or Royth. It's my writing. I've got Devin Gorge. I've got Ali's 90. I've got an MS Brody JM. I've got a Mina Sia. I've got a Joan Carts, I've got a Lopez Casana, I've got a Michaela Mays, a Lil Chicky 84, Crazy Waffle 5150, I've got a Tina Hino, 
Mr. JB73, Chantel Deirdrix, and over the past couple of hours I've got a Rika B, uh, a Wendy Casey, Jordan Terry, and a Jay Son. So again, thanks for showing your support by slapping that subscribe button, it's much, much appreciated. And thanks to everyone who's sharing this channel. It's growing so, so good. well, it's much, much appreciated. So again, those of you new to the channel, if you wanna be in with a chance to enter that competition that I am giving that G6 away at a thousand subscribers, then contemplate slapping that subscribe button to show your support for the channel, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So what we'll do is we'll cut to the bloopers and I'll catch you in the next one. Um, final night, that we're on the way down the way to be able to do that, do a bit more carpet, and then we'll get some carpet out of it. <laughs>